Yo guys, welcome back to another Dunmachi Memorial Freeze video. And like I said previously, when I announced the, uh, well, when I dropped a news video on what I just released on the stream, uh, <laughs> I said I wasn't going to go into too much detail then because I'm going to be doing a unit review and a should you summon as soon as the banners drop. It is a little bit later than after they dropped. It's been a few hours, but can't really be helped, you know, time zones and everything. <laughs> Excuse me. It is pretty uh, early in the morning for me, so coffee. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're gonna get straight into it, and we're gonna be here with the Sword Maiden. I'm not gonna lie, the, I like the artwork. I know some of you have been telling me you don't think the artwork is as good as I'm making it seem, but I like the artwork. I'm sorry. Uh, it's okay to have a difference of opinion. <laughs> um, <clears throat> her stats. Pretty decent deck spread. I say pretty decent. Maybe that's being a little bit overzealous. It's an okay deck stat. Apart from that, everything's pretty even across the board except for endurance. Uh, and then we come over here. She's already MLB'd on the album. So uh, all stars plus plus. Foes strength, magic, and dark resist minus 15%. And allies thunder attack damage plus 15%. Hmm. It seems really gimmicky. Like I know it's supposed she's supposed to be used with the uh, collab banner units, but it feels really gimmicky. They really should have uh, added something else there rather than an increase in thunder damage. Um, <clears throat> they could have literally just made it a you know a decrease in dark and thunder resistance uh, instead of increasing the damage of one and decreasing. It, it seems a bit. I mean, even still, like, outside of the collab units, when using a thunder and dark, using a hybrid of thunder and dark units is probably not going to happen for you anyway, so, <coughs> there is that, but, uh, I kind of do want to MLB her just because it's Sword Maiden, <laughs> I'm not even, I'm not even going to lie about that, uh, alright, so we're going to come over here to Adventurers, and where are you? As you can see, I haven't done my summons yet. I haven't done my summons. And I need to make a conscious thought to make sure I'm not speaking as fast as I usually do because it seems from my comments that some of you are misunderstanding what I'm saying. And I apologize about that. That's uh, I'm, I am sorry. <clears throat> I will try to slow down and make my, my words more clear for you. Okay, so where are we? Stats. Let's look at the stats. Maybe MLB her first. And Max Hero Send. Because that's what we want to do, right? We're going to max them out all over. It's not a stupid high magic stat, but it is... I mean, it is high. It, uh, um, wait. Um, I think I'm mixing it up with strength there. But, I mean, I... Look, I'm saying that's a good that's a good magic stat. <laughs> that's a good place to be on magic. Agility. Less than a thousand. Um, okay, I mean, her stats across the board, they're not bad. Uh, her endurance is trash. It's, I feel like her, endur <laughs> her endurance is definitely trash. I mean, yeah, okay, right. No, I'm not I'm going to smash the unit or nothing like that. It, I feel like her, her endurance could have been brought up to an S tier. You know, just to balance it out after all these are supposed to be like serious um, celebration units throughout the year. Like it's one of the main events in the year for the game. So <clears throat> and, and Ryu is one of the most popular characters. So it, it would make more sense to make her a little bit stronger. I mean, it's just endurance. OK, so special attack, Nocturne Vortex. Ultra Dark Magic Attack with damage plus 15% for each self agility buff <coughs> and uh, skill and ultra on guard rate. That, um, let me go back. Okay, well, her agility isn't bad. It's, uh, she's got good agility. I would have liked it closer to like a thousand than it is. But. I mean that works, I suppose that works. It is Ryu after all, so agility or dexterity would be the way to go. Uh, okay, combat skills. Skill one, 
foes, magic, agility, and magic resist minus 25%. Self magic, agility, and magic resist plus 50% for four turns. That is great because it's got the fast modifier on it, plus she doesn't do any damage, which means she should take priority. If you were to use this in war games, I'm pretty sure. I mean, besides the magic resist, the agility buff for 25%. <clears throat> Oh wait, no, uh, 50%, 50%, sorry, I got that backwards there. Uh, the debuff and the buff all in one turn, that's crisp, I like that. She's probably going to be extremely useful in war games, plus she's a magic damage dealer as well, so she's going to be hitting harder because most people obviously just um, set their teams up to deal with physical rush teams. Uh, next skill. New Moon, Super Dark Magic Attack with Ultra Penetration Rate with Temporary Magic Boost and Self Dark Attack Damage plus 50% for free turn as an AoE. Pretty good, pretty good. Like, so how it's looking is it's the setup. So, you know, skill one, then skill two, and then I assume skill three. High Dark Magic Attack Damage plus 40% per each Self Agility Buff. Uh, and ultra critical rate okay yeah so you were to use her in record buster you know you would skill one skill two and then skill three and obviously try and extend her buffs thank god it doesn't uh do what the aisha does and take away the agility buffs after you've used the skill but then it is just a 40 percent damage um increase i think it's similar to goblin slayer and then of course you have the ultimate to combo with it uh, magic Blast, anti-magic, for regular attacks when countering, remove magic buffs. <clears throat> Again, that's probably going to be really good for Record Buster. And probably this true uh, familiar thing that will come in. Magic resist, physical resist, plus 15%. Uh, this stuff is, is, oh, okay, Ogre. Which means she's designed for the familiar event that's coming. <clears throat> Uh, I like her, I do like her, but that's obviously, she is Ryu, Ryu units are always popular and always at least, uh, good, <laughs> for lack of a better word, sorry, I'm, I'm not as articulative as I could be, I suppose, and now we are over here on Armid, uh, balance type, it says balance type, but her strength and her magic are a lot higher than, than everything else, her endurance see this is what i'm talking about just push that endurance to s it's fine it doesn't need to be thing these collab units are supposed to be like one of two events in the year that are supposed to stand out more than the others so it makes more sense to have s's across the board uh-huh okay allies ultra hp heal and self increase special attack gauge gain by 100 percent and allies increase special attack gauge charge gain by 33 percent for three turns that's always good but i, I mean <clears throat> there uh, i feel like this is sort of a wasted special i don't see where you would use it over other skills like if you were going to record buster you would already have units to increase sa gauge charge anyway and then you would have other units to increase your buff duration uh, you would literally just need her skill one Uh, okay, anyway, skill one. <clears throat> Allies, fast 20%, HP heal and 20% regen with strength, magic and dark damage, uh, dark attack damage plus 25% for three turns. Hmm. 25, I mean, I suppose it is coupled with the... I suppose it is coupled with the uh, strength and magic boost as well so the 25% seems fair but four turns would have been nicer definitely okay uh, so on to the next skill I mean I like the, the we get the regen as well as the heal so it's good for the beginning of the turn and the end of the turn plus it does no damage so, and it's a fast modifier so it takes priority over a lot of things uh, which means definitely going to be good for record buster definitely going to be good for war games in itself as well 
Oh, I'm scrolling. Sorry, <laughs> I'm scrolling my mouse as if it's it's not on my phone. Uh, Shadow Coil, AOE, slow, super, dark magic attack with temporary magic boost and higher on counter rate. Allies removes strength and magic debuffs. See, I think she does a lot. Um, like she has a full support kit across the board. You can't really complain about that. I think she'll be good for a lot of scenarios and a lot of situations. My problem is she does so many things on so many different skills. She's good. She she will she would be good for war games as well, but it's 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 all down to RNG, right? It's however you um, it's however you set her. If you set her to buff, she's gonna use the heal. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, does removing buffs, uh, debuffs, and curses count as a buff? I don't think it does. So if you were to set it as a, oh well, okay. If you put it as attack, all she would use this one. Right? Okay, that makes it simpler. Simpler. Sorry. <clears throat> okay, so removes debuffs. Skill three, mid dark magic attack with temporary magic boost and higher iron guard rate. Allies removes curses and ailment cure. I love that it cures ailments as well. I didn't clock that straight away. <clears throat> She's basically a pure support across the board. Cannot complain about this unit. I cannot. I think if you're lacking a healer or a support in general, she's great to go for. I know there are still people coming into the game. I, I still get comments with new players asking what they should summon for. Uh, and if you started now, I'm telling people the same thing. If you're a new player and you have the Iris to spend, or if you only have enough Iris to get maybe uh, one or two of these units, aim for Priestess, aim and now aim for Armid. Uh, you know, start yourself off with a great healer. Uh, I think the the only thing the Armid is lacking is on her counter. <clears throat> uh, if I can find it. Oh, okay, any strength one. Regular attacks when countering removes strength buffs. Now this is good for uh, say record buster and you know even war games per se. But but you lose out on that um, you know heal counter with, that you get with priestess. Um, although priestess doesn't actually have a heal, she has a regen, which is I suppose is different. So it'd be good for the story, but um, not so much for you know other things. It's not as good. Uh, as if you were to get a, you know Haruhime but if you've just started out these two either one of these two would help you greatly um, but we're gonna move on to I think that's it right yeah that's it that is all three units um, I forgot that it was only three units so what do I think I like them I don't think they're game-breaking I think they're notable I think Ahmed especially isn't is notable herself uh i'm ryu ryu is extremely is going to be extremely viable for war games because of her skill one um but i don't see her being like a massively hard hitter hitter god my english is terrible <laughs> i don't see her being a massively hard hitter um just because her accumulated um, buffs only increase her damage on skill three by 40 percent um, and I don't know the intricacies of the math or how it's calculated, like how the damage would be calculated anyway. So uh, I can't really comment to that. But I get the feeling that she's not going to really hit as hard as people expect her to. But the Armid for sure is definitely worth a pickup. Um, <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Um, I am obviously going to drop 4K on the banner anyway because that's what I want to do. And uh, I'm going to be recording a video on it myself. I kind of just want to MLB the Sword Maiden because it's Sword Maiden. That's it. <laughs> There's no other reason. It's just because it's Sword Maiden. Do I think you should summon? If you're a new player and you don't have the um, the Iris to do all 10 steps, I still think you should summon just to get maybe Sword Maiden uh, for the CP uh, levels. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> For the CP levels, because it always helps out, and CP rewards. Are, but you can't ignore how much Irish you get from CP levels. So it, you know, at le I would at least try and pick up the uh, Sword Maiden. Maybe try and get one copy of each. If you have been playing for a while and you've saved up, yeah, by all means, go in on the banner. The Armid is worth it 
uh, the Ryu is still going to be good in war games. I just don't think people... I don't don't expect her to be like your your hardest hitting unit. But that buff, that skill one, it is going to cause problems in war games. I can guarantee it. Um, and, and So should you summon? Yeah, it just how much you summon depends on what your situation is and, and what you want. So yeah, I, I hope that helped. And thank you if you have made it all the way through this video. If you did enjoy it or it did help, please make sure to drop a like. If you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. And as always, guys, I'll catch you later.